we're editing the vlog. Glenn's here. He just came back from something he had to do with work. And he's going to go get Christmas gifts. And he's flossing his teeth now. Let me see if I can flick it on the camera. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Stop! Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Hello, so I am not doing anything exciting right now. Cooking my teriyaki chicken that I didn't cook the other day. It looks like a lot, but there's actually a ton of onions that are in this. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like eleven pieces of chicken or so, but yes, I'm going to have this over my rice. And my mom would kill me if she saw that I was using a paper plate. Yes, she would. <laughs> Here is my lunch. I added some green onion. It's it's in there somewhere. I have some sesame and I am, oh no, not I'm set, I'm almost set. Of course I need, yes, right next to the sriracha ketchup, sriracha. I put this shit on everything. I'm really excited because I got an email back from CoverGirl and my daytime look is approved so now I just have to wait for my nighttime. So I plan on uploading my daytime look first and then my nighttime on Sunday. So by the time you see this video, that video should be up. So go check it out, leave some Vlogmas love and I would really, really appreciate it. I'm excited that I got approved. So now I'm going to eat my teriyaki chicken. Mmm. I literally just burned my mouth. I know you can see the steam. Coming up, yeah, burn my mouth. <laughs> I didn't really like it. It's kind of starting to rain a little. Okay, not right now, but it was. It's supposed to like really rain today. Anyhow, I wanted to talk about this drink really quick. Uh, have any of you guys tried it? It's the Dasani Sparkling Black Cherry. Uh, it's pretty good, like, especially when you drink it fast, it tastes like more black cherry. <laughs> like, drink it really fast. My thing is, one of my guilty pleasures is I love carbonation, and I wish I didn't. I honestly, ugh, I hate that I love carbonation, but that's why, like, me and Glenn, like, we usually just drink ginger ale because it's not as bad, and I actually really love ginger ale a lot, but, uh, I try to stay away from, like, sodas and stuff, so I've been drinking the Dasani Black Cherry. I don't know, there's always some kind of BS in these things, right? But I like the Black Cherry one. I try the Raspberry Lemonade. <laughs> he walks like, what are you doing? Yeah, I did not like that flavor whatsoever. <laughs> Do you guys have any suggestions? I was drinking like another drink, I forgot what it was. I showed it in a, lo a long time ago in a Friday with Boops, and what was it called? I forgot, but I still have some in the fridge. I'm just so lazy to get up and go get it. That's so bad. All right, I'll go get it. But someone was telling me that these are actually bad because what, it has a spartamine or something in it? Sparkling ice, right there. So I have them in, I have three left. I mean, I could just really ideally look at the back, but carbonated water, natural flavor, citric acid, benzoate, sucralose, green tea extract, calcium, disodium, EDTA, biotin 1%, red 40, uh, niacinamide. Okay. <laughs> I don't drink those that often though. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? What's that? What's that? Oh, wow. Whose is that? It's for you. Wow. What else is here? What else is here? Move in. Okay, you can stop that. <laughs> 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 the first presents underneath the tree. <laughs> no! I'm watching my favorite movie. Guess what? Oh, uh, Taken? <laughs> yeah, Taken 3. Oh, you went to Mitsuha or Marukai? Mitsuha. What you eat there? Hmm? Tempura. Oh, without me? Wow, Nani! What? Didn't even bring me anything. I got your presents! <laughs> I'm kidding. I ate my I cooked my chicken, my teriyaki chicken. It was actually really good. 
How was it when I made it for you that day for lunch? Was it yeah. more like more flavor than the last marinade? Yeah, a little bit more, yeah. There's actually a, um, a mini schnauzer uh -huh. in the neighborhood that my uh, aunt lives in. Oh, really? And yeah, it was funny because... Do any of you guys know what breed Ewok is? We know he's a miniature schnauzer, but we think he's mixed for some reason. The doctor, I don't know why she didn't say to do a blood test. Like, she's like, oh, Karen Terrier. <laughs> So what do you think he is? You think he's mixed with a terrier, or would you say a uh, Yorkie? Yorkie? Can you guys help us? <laughs> because he has a small snout like a Yorkie. Yeah, because his yeah his snout is not long like a Schnauzer. That's one thing, but he does have the Schnauzer face, but the snout is short. What are you, huh? What are you today, socks? Um, yeah, his ears are always up. Like a Yorkie. Yeah. So we're looking at Schnauzer and Terrier mixes. Kind of looks like that. A Snorky. He's a Snorky? That's like What's the one down. we saw that looked just like him? Is he going down? No, is he going down? Oh, it was this one that we're looking at. Yeah. You guys, today's Glenn's last day of school. Calling all pet people. <laughs> See, this is what a mini schnauzer looks like. Like we're looking at the pictures. This is Ewok when he's mad. <laughs> but see, he doesn't have like that super long snout like these ones do. Or his ears don't fold over. Yeah, his ears don't fold over. They're like up like that sort of. I don't know. That's what he looks like when he runs. Look. What happens if Ewok wants to take a peek? No, Ewok can't take a peek. Why? Oh, he can't take a peek, Ewok. I'm not gonna shake it. Yeah, sure, right. I'm not going to. I know you. No. Yes, I know you. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Mm. I already know you're gonna try to figure out what it is, now. <laughs> no, I promise you, I'm not going to. I promise you. Alright, you might as well. I promise you guys, I'm not a peeker. When have I peeked? What are you looking at? What the heck? You're you're bad, you guys. He's bad. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like a prisoner inside of the house. It's kind of making me go insane. <laughs> So I'm finding an excuse to leave and I'm going to mail the giveaway winner one day earlier. <laughs> I I messaged her and I said that she was gonna I was gonna mail it on Friday, but I got my little letter and I got the gift and I'm gonna mail it today because I've been in the house too long, you guys. I can't stay here. I feel like a prisoner. So um I'm leaving. I just have to. I just need some fresh air. You know when you just need some fresh air? That's what we need. We need some fresh air. Huh, Ewok? Do we need some fresh air? Call oh, mom. Yeah, see, he's a yeah, mom. Okay, I gotta get gas. I have like barely any gas. I would die if like something happened <laughs> and I had no gas. <laughs> he went in my side of the seat. Hey, mommy's getting gas. Or else we can't go nowhere and we get stuck and then Glenn has to come save us. Well, actually I have trip away, but yeah. <laughs>
Oh my gosh. And I am you guys. I got all my packages. Like quite a bit. I ordered some Christmas presents and stuff, so and then there's some PR stuff in there. Oh, it started raining on me. So I started freaking out. I'm like, <laughs> God told me to take care of my health. <laughs> I don't be crazy. They don't love you like I love you. They don't love you like I love you. They don't love you like I love you. I Hey guys, so right now I am wrapping presents. I just finished wrapping my mom's present, one of Glenn's presents. So now I'm gonna wrap some of my family's presents. And yeah, tomorrow I have to go pick up some more because I haven't really done a ton of Christmas shopping. I plan on doing it this beginning of this week, but obviously that didn't happen, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just wrap. I just got this wrapping paper from Target. Three bucks, whoop, whoop. I mean, I'm honestly not the best wrapper, but I do a decent job, I think. So let's put this right in the center. So here's one for my knees. See, it's just the corners, like the ends that I get a little bit uh, on, but not bad, not bad, at least it's, it's looking decent, right? Right? I mean, the person just rips it open anyhow. It's just like, what's inside? I'm like so sad right now because if you guys can help out Jackie, Jack, Jack, like she posted something on um on her on her Instagram and her. I'm sorry, you guys. Hold on. I like got so emotional right now. Okay, so Jackie from Jack Jack, I did a post on my Instagram and my Twitter before, and she's been trying to find her two dogs because she left her dogs at her uh, boyfriend, who is Johnny, at her his mom's house one time, one night, and I guess they usually do that. I guess you know what I mean. And the dogs have been there before, but unfortunately, the mom's house got broken into, and. Um, so she lost her two dogs. So I'm sure some of you have seen the post, but if not, here. This is her Instagram, Jack Jack, right there. And if you see a post, she said she was shown a video this morning of footage someone got on their wildlife camera of a dog that looks exactly like Zoe. Unfortunately, she is injured very, very badly. Um, if your stomach and heart can take it, if you can YouTube search, Kansas saves La Jolla. So Kansas saves and then La Jolla. Two words. L-A space J-O-L-L-A. And she thinks it's one of her dogs. But I was looking at the video and it's so effed up. Like she really thinks it's her dog Zoe. So she says we have professionals helping us. And to set up dog traps for her to go into. Please pray we get her into the trap. Because she's extremely scared right now. And wouldn't come to be calling her name. This is our best solution to getting her back. And then she says, if you care to see my ugly crying face again, we'll be on ABC 10 News at 5.30. Now I have like my ugly crying face. If you see the video, it's so messed up. Like it's her dog and it's this video right here. I don't want to show you in case um, anybody, anybody is, um, you know, sensitive with things like that. But, um, uh, both the dog's legs are broken. Like, the dog is just dragging the legs. <laughs> and it just makes me think, like, when we first found Ewok, it was so effed up. Like, if you guys could only, like, just see how he was in the beginning. Like, Ewok looks so different than what he does now. It is crazy. I'll insert, like, a picture of what he looks like before. Like, you wouldn't even recognize him compared to what he looks like now. <laughs> And it made me so pissed off when people got so mad, like, well, not a bunch, but, like, some stupid-ass people got mad about a GoFundMe. Like, even someone brought it up when we got our new TV. They're like, and you needed a GoFundMe for Ewok? Yes, we, we didn't need one, but people wanted to help. That's what you do. You fundraise to help save animals. And people only see, like, the small picture, like, oh, my gosh, donation of money. Did I buy myself something with that money? No, I saved the damn dog's life and I put 3,000 on top of that because with everything it was $6,000 and they don't understand the emotion you go to every single week I was at the doctors, sometimes twice a week, just seeing him heal, trying to get him back to like an emotional state that's normal. Like that shit made me so mad because people 
are like all bitching about it and some like bitch made some, it's just like please, like whatever, you know, you can kiss my ass. And, and like Ewok is doing so good now, it's just crazy, you know, just to save his life. And, and it feels really damn good to do it. Um, what was I gonna say? I just feel so bad for her because I can't even imagine how she feels to like lose her babies, you know what I mean? And she has her other dog that I guess they can't find. They thought they found it like in a shelter. They've been looking all over. So if you happen to be in the area, whatever, if you check her Instagram out, I'd really appreciate it just because, just to spread the word, you know? I really hope that that's her dog. Like, I really, really hope so. I just got so emotional, you know, because like it walks come such a far, you know, way about how he's been healing and and we're still going to be we're going to, you know, obviously be dealing with this for the rest of his life and and I'm happy that we're the ones who found him, you know. I just got like so out of it right now because sometimes like me and Glenn just sit down and we just look at him and we're like, damn, it's so crazy like how he was before. Like he would growl at us. Every now and then he still kind of growls when he's like a little grumpy, you know. He's still not like 100%. Obviously, obviously his healing isn't at 100%. That's going to take a while. But it just... Oh my gosh, I can only imagine how she's feeling. Sorry for getting emotional and all that. And thank you to everybody who's always supported Ewok. We really appreciate it. And all the other relevant people, they don't really matter, honestly. They're nobody. So it just it's just crazy. It, it just sucks, you know, when this stuff kind of happens. So every night, I think that's why every single night, like, I just, I kiss him, like, so many times a day and all that. It's just, oh, you know, and... It's just crazy. So I really hope this is her dog. It sucks that the dog is super injured. So I don't know where her other dog is at. See, everybody says she thinks it's Zoe. So they're hoping. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's, like, commenting. Okay, you guys. Um, I'm going to continue wrapping. Okay, let's get back on track so sorry but if you guys could check out our instagram i would really really appreciate it but um i'm happy because look what came in my moana doll from the disney store so i don't know if i'm gonna open it tonight should i open it yeah let's open it okay i'm gonna open up my moana she is oh my god it's so much bigger than what i thought i was thought it was gonna be a small one Alright, that was like really scary, but I am in shock how big the doll is. This was worth my money. I thought it was gonna be like a little Barbie doll. Oh my gosh, like, do you see that? That's like, that's a big doll. That's not like a normal size Barbie doll. Oh. Oh my god, look at her feet. It looks like there's sand on them. That is adorable. Because the ocean chose her. <gasps> I'm obsessed. I need another one because I need to open up that necklace. <laughs> oh my gosh. It says, limited edition one of the 6500. And it says, certificate of authenticity and display stand included. Oh, I guess this comes off right here. Oh my god, I want to be really careful. <gasps> no, I don't want to open it. Oh my gosh. I kind of just want to just see what, what's inside that necklace. Oh my gosh. <gasps> just to see what it looks like. Okay, I have to be very careful. Be right back. Okay, you guys, so far I can come off really easily. So I got to be very careful. Very careful. Okay. I know some of you are like, what? Oh my gosh, I'm touching her. <laughs> You are beautiful. Look at Pua and hey, hey. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's open this up. Okay, be right back. <laughs> okay, it just opens up to the green stone. I would think like it would light up or something, but that's okay. Okay, just close it, snap it. Okay, has to go back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, I just have to look at her detail just really quick. I want to touch this. Her feet. Oh my gosh. They really feel like they're sand. Oh my gosh, look at that. So cute. 
obsessed. All right, guys, I just finished wrapping gifts, so I'm gonna get going because I want to just get to bed right now so I can just rest up because I have been feeling much better today and I'm just super excited that my videos have been approved. So make sure you check out my CoverGirl video. I'd really appreciate it. Show some love and I will see you guys in the next vlogmas. Whoop, whoop. Oh, and tomorrow we're gonna go watch Star Wars, so who's watching it? Whoop.